Let's move again with one more comprehension. You know, comprehensions we need lots of practice, and it is enjoyable also. So again, in your chapter number twenty-seven, comprehension part three, that means story number three. We have already finished the first and the second story. You have written the question answers and the exercises in your English notebook. Same way, we are going to do the third story. So let's start, children. This time we have a poem. You can also say a poem or a poem, right? And we have a comprehension on a small poem of friendship. What does friendship means? Let's see what the poem is. What does friendship means? It means helping your friend every day. and inviting him or her over to play friendship means you need to help your friends we also do that in our classrooms also we help them whenever they need help inviting him or her a friend can be a boy also a friend can be a girl also so we ask them to come to our place so that you both can play together so friendship means playing together also it means lending a hand and working together and sharing your umbrella in a stormy weather lending a hand what do you mean by lending lending means to give giving giving a hand and working together again that means helping them doing all the types of work together and helping each other sharing your umbrella can you see in the picture when it is a stormy weather and when it is raining If your fan doesn't have a umbrella, we walk with one umbrella, right? So sharing our umbrella with our friends. It means walking to school and riding your bikes, and going on weekends for very long hikes. Walking to school, many friends who live near by the school, they both together walk and go to school, riding your bikes. in the evenings you people play in your cycles right all the friends together ride the bicycles and going on weekends weekends means saturday and sunday where you have a relaxed time your own time for a very long hikes what do you mean by long hikes hike means going for a long walk so you enjoy going for a walk with your friends talking so much making mischiefs it means laughing and joking and tickling and giggling laughing everybody knows you laugh a lot with your friends you crack many jokes with your friends what do you mean by tickling tickling means to touch someone lightly with your fingers to make them laugh good goody karni halke se when you you know touch your fingers to your friends good goody karte ho na friends ko hasane ke liye that is tickling mean by giggling to laugh you know again to laugh so much is giggling and jumping and bouncing you people enjoy jumping and bouncing bouncing means to jump again right like a ball with your friends and leaping and giggling again leaping also means to jump around giggling means to dance around with your friends so enjoy so much with your friends right dancing and all it also means sharing your noodles and apples at break noodles are something very very favorite to us and you know we hardly share with anyone but we enjoy sharing our noodles with our friends now here children they have written noodles but it doesn't mean only noodles it means sharing your tiffin whatever you like whatever you eat it can be a chocolate with your friends and apple at break break means whenever we have a break time or a recess we enjoy sharing our food with our friends and giving your friend your last slice of cake 
cake which is favorite to all kids they don't enjoy sharing cakes but we enjoy sharing cakes with our friends it doesn't mean only sharing cakes it means sharing all our favorite things with our friends you know there are many favorite things which we do not share with our elder brother or sister we tell them no but we enjoy sharing with our friends so all our favorite things which are very near to our heart we do share with our friends because our friends are also very near to our heart right now this is the poem written by rose mary allen let's see the answer question answers from this passage the first question says what do friends do in a stormy weather when it is raining so much and stormy weather what do the friends do what were our friends doing in the poem friends share an umbrella in a stormy weather according to the poem where do friends go on weekends according to the poem means we have to write the answer whatever answer is given in the poem so we have to find out the answer from the poem if they don't specify according to the poem children can write any answer so from the poem it, we have to find out the answer that what do friends do on the weekends let's see according to the poem friends go on long hikes on weekends go they go for a long walk write any two action words from the poem that you do with your friends right in the poem there are so many actions written given which the two friends are doing we have to find out any two action words let's see walking riding yes they were walking together they were riding the bike you can even say playing you can write your own action words and add on the list also according to the poem how can you be generous generous means very kind with your friends during recess how can we be very nice and kind with our friends in recess time according to the poem one can be generous with one's friend one means anybody can be generous with their friends by sharing noodles an apple or the last slice of cake during the break that means sharing our meals with our friends during the break i hope children you enjoyed this poem i liked it very much because i also love my friends very much and i do all these things with my friends you also must be doing it it's a beautiful poem see you again goodbye